Ciao a tutti, buon pomeriggio, good afternoon. First of all, I ex express my appreciation to organization committee and also thanks to my Italian colleague Luciano to teach me an Italian expression for good afternoon some 30 minutes ago. Anyway, I'm very glad to have a, such a wonderful opportunity to make a presentation with these distinguished colleagues here, uh, following into insightful presentation. I would like to introduce current development of not-for-profit accounting in my jurisdiction, Japan. I think it is an interesting example for an approach for overhauling financial reporting for not-for-profit. Before talking about accounting, let me explain about characteristics of not-for-profit industry in the past and present in Japan. Those characteristics have much influenced financial reporting for not-for-profit in Japan. Quite often, it has been said that Japanese not-for-profit sectors is smaller and weaker than other developed countries such as the United States. I agree it was smaller and weaker in the past. A reliable comparison is difficult, but I try some comparison here. Ratio of the workforce, much smaller, and also Japanese not-for-profits was financially weak. One of the reasons for such weakness was smaller amount of citizens' donation. As a result, not-for-profit in Japan was heavily dependent on the government. A such situation was clearly described in a book making international research on not-for-profit uh, published in 1994. Although a sizable non-profit sector exists, therefore it is chopped up into a number of discrete subsectors by a set of field-specific laws permitting the form formation of not-for-profit institutions only to perform relatively narrow defined functions, and even them only with the permission of the designated government ministry. No concept of an independent, private, voluntary sector existing apart from, and to some extent, in position to the state consequently exist in Japan, though such a concept is beginning to emerge. I agree with the author's observations as far as it describes situation when the book was written. I emphasize once again, the book was published in 1994, 20 years ago. But circumstances have been changed a lot since then. Among other things, tragic disasters are catalysts for such a change. In 1995, the great Hanshin Awaji earthquake, many volunteers played active and important roles in assisting, assisting victims of the disaster. As a result, Japanese people have recognized importance of not-for-profit sector, particularly that based on private sector volunteerism. This year is sometimes called as the first year of volunteerism in Japan. This recognition will lead to a registration of Not-for-Profit Activity Promotion Act in 1998. Another more fundamental reform followed in 2006. This was a major reform once in 100 years. An emerged concept and independent private voluntary sector has now enhanced by such a new legal framework. You may remember another big earthquake and following tsunami hit Japan in 2011. This may change Japanese people's attitude for donation. 
more than three-fourths of Japanese people donated something for the earthquake victims. Then, let me go to accounting issues. I refer the phrase again here to the book I mentioned before, uh, field-specific laws permitting the formation of not-for-profit institutions only to perform relatively narrowed defined functions. For example, for private schools, there is School Corporation Act to regulate them. For social welfare services, there is Social Welfare Corporation Act. They are exactly chopped up in subsectors by government regulations. Accounting standards are also chopped up and developed by each ministry. It is simply a reflection of such regulations. For example, the accounting standards for social welfare cooperation established by Ministry of Social Welfare. There is accounting standards for school cooperation established by Ministry of Education, and so on. But I explained before, this chopped up government regulation has changed. Why are the accounting standards still segregated? Accounting standards need to change to reflect such a change in situations surrounding not-for-profit in Japan. In the past, objective of financial reporting for not-for-profit are primarily to provide information to oversight ministry for its regulation. We now need to establish financial reporting for wider users such as general citizens who provide support for not-for-profits. Professional Accountancy, the Japanese Institute of Certified Public Accountants, or JICPA, leads the initiative for change. We issued a study report toward establishment of accounting framework for not-for-profit entities. It is based on research on financial reporting and accounting framework for not-for-profit in UK, US, Germany, and France. We also conducted an interview survey based on a study report to have views from various constituents. And we also studied our neighbor country's Korea case, Korean case. Now we launched the review committee for not-for-profit accounting this year. What are we discussing here? Firstly, structure of accounting literature. Do we need framework, conceptual framework? Maybe yes. We need accounting standards? Definitely yes. We may need accounting guidelines to give practitioners application guidance. How should we, the relationship is accounting standards for business entities? Are they basically the same? Do we need special consideration for not smaller not-for-profit entities? Regarding the conceptual framework, we are discussing scope and definition of not-for-profit entities, objective of the primary uses of financial reporting, and elements and structure of the financial statements. We are also discussing not-for-profit specific accounting topics such as separate presentation of net assets based on restrictions thereon, non-exchange transactions, donation of in-kind services, and so on. Lastly, process and institutional arrangement. It means who should develop accounting standards for not-for-profit entities? We definitely support 
uniform standard setting mechanism for not-for-profit. In other words, chopped up accounting standards no more. To conclude my presentation, let me express my, some of my personal views. Firstly, a standalone documents are necessary. Standalone means that the preparers or auditors are not necessary to refer other resources to make judgments. In other words, no mandatory fallback to accounting standards for business. Think small first approach. It means we need to consider small entities first. In most cases of standard setting, think big first and consider remedies for smaller entities later. For example, IFRS. IFRS has been established for listed companies and then IFRS for SMEs are considered how to simplify the complicated 2,000 pages accounting standards. In Japan, and also it applies for many countries, not-for-profit mainly consists of smaller entities, and unfortunately, or it may be fortunately, we are now in the stage of developing new accounting framework for not-for-profit. Why not focus on the smaller not-for-profits reporting needs at first and establish based accounting framework for not-for-profits? We can require bigger not-for-profits, some different accounting treatments or additional disclosures by adding on such basic accounting framework. Lastly, relationship with public sector accounting standards. These are for governments, not for not not for not for profit. But some features of accounting, such as vast existence of non-exchange transactions and sub service capacity concept rather than future cash flow, are common between public sector and not for profit sectors. We already have a good international accounting framework, namely IPSAS, International Public Sector Accounting Standards. Just two weeks ago, IPSASB, International Public Sector Accounting Standards Board, published its own conceptual framework. Why not draw their wisdom and accomplishment also for not for accounting? Thank you very much. Grazie tanto.